Hi, I'm going to talk about rigging up 12 weight uh, lines in particular today um, and setting up for GTs. Um, for this we're going to use braided loops. Um, these are braided loops which I have made myself. I take a 50 pound braid and I feed a piece of wire up through the middle, pop it out the top, put the loop through and then run it back down through itself. And the key with braided loops when setting up for big fish is to make sure that you are running a fly line up through both sets of braid. So having done that, we're just going to trim the end off so that we've got a neat end. We're going to take the tip of the fly line and we're going to feed this up through both sets of braid. This is a bit like Tending to be a caterpillar, so we have to just push gently on the braid and feed the fly line up through the middle. So you use one, one, one finger to push it up, and then your other two fingers to pull, pull it back down, so it slides up through the middle. And I really set up all my fly lines now with loops on both ends. Um, this gives you the flexibility to switch lines out very quickly. On the back of all of my reels I have large loops which I uh, use a big bimini twist on um, and the loop has to be big enough to be able to get either one of these switch boxes or your reel through and it gives you great flexibility with moving from line to line. So we're getting there, I mean, this is a 12 weight line, it's pretty thick so it takes a little work to get that up through there. And I found this to be the best strength of connection for this style of rigging. If you're going to be using 130 pound leader on the end of that, it's a pretty big unflexible loop, you need to be able to, uh, to lock that down. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to take some 11.6 pound fluoro. And stretch of that. Let's trim a bit off, and we're going to do two nail knots on here. And for this, I use a wire loop, it's just a piece of plastic, -colored, uh, plastic covered wire which I've turned into a loop. Make sure you clinch it tight up at the top. Just put it together, and then you run it back over the top of itself. Pop that back through the loop and just pull it tight. And then what I'll do is feed that down to the end of where my braid is. Tighten up slowly on both sides to begin with. Just use your teeth or whatever to just to tighten it up. And what that does is that'll lock. Puts a nice little lock straight down on the top of the braid and it clamps the braid to the fly line. So there's the first one. And I'll use some some nippers here so I can get nice and close to the knot. Spray that out a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six nine. 
clip off the end. Clippers rather than scissors because they allow you to get nice and close up. So there's the first one. The second one I like to do probably about half a centimetre to a centimetre further down from where the fly line tip comes in. That allows the tip of the fly line to be clamped by the braid. It's a bit like a Chinese finger trap. Probably no more than about six or seven twists in there. Feed it back through. Straighten it up. Feed the. You can just slide it down to where you want it. Again, tightening up both sides loosely to begin with. Entry level, entry level, best value, entry level, best value. Here we go. Not beginner, just restart. Again, just tidy it up. Now, there's two things you can do at this point. You can either take some some um, Zappagat fishing glue and just put a tab just in that top bit there. Not too much all the way down it because otherwise you end up making this very stiff and it won't turn over properly. Or if you have more time and you're prepping at home before your trip, what I like to do is get some Aquasure clear rubber and I put a little bit on there with a nail, I rub it up and down and then you pull it through a piece of newspaper or paper. What that does is it actually takes all the excess away. The Aquasure then goes right the way through the braid and it ends up by vulcanizing the entire loop and making it very, very tough. So uh, then you've got a very, very easy loop system on both ends of your fly line. So if you cut one on the coral, or you need to change a line from a 12 weight to a 600 grain depth finder or some such thing like that, you can very, very quickly change it over.